what's up youtube i'm back with another video here and i wanted to share with you guys our experience at the R richmond race the toyota owners 400 not a big toyota fan a more ford and chevrolet chevrolet but uh they were running uh a thing where if you owned a toyota you could uh Show them your key, and you fill out your information and all that, and you could go in to a special venue where they had free food and drink and all that, and then they had a special guest there. That was Denny Hamlin. I don't own a Toyota. I own a Ford, so I didn't get to participate in that. But uh, we did have a ball and got a bunch of free stuff, as if you've never been to a race. Uh, they got all kind of displays around the track there. Ford's got a display. That's where we spent most of our time. Chevrolet, which I didn't see Chevrolet's display this time. I don't know if I just missed it or they didn't have one, maybe. Toyota had a big one. Just different sponsors and uh, different things around the track there. They had Midget Wrestling Micro, micro uh, Federation, I think it was called, or something like that. But that, that, that there, when they had that, it was packed. You couldn't even hardly get anywhere near it. Uh, my girlfriend, she did sneak up there through the crowd and get some pictures. They just had it set up and the ring was low. They just had it set up on the asphalt there. There around the track. I'm not at the track, but, you know, at the midway. That's where they had that set up. And they had the Monster uh, Energy uh, motorcycles, which they were doing jumps and uh, some stunts there. Then they had a... Like, uh, where well, they were demonstrating the handling for some new Toyotas that came out. They had cones and stuff set up there at one part. Where they were doing, like, tricks and stunts. Uh, see what else. Well, I'll just get into some, some of the stuff we, we got. We got a koozie here from uh, Stamp Out Fraud, West Virginia State Police Insurance Fraud Program. Did I say West Virginia? Man, Virginia. Uh, that was at their booth. And then I got a couple of these decals. Virginia State Police. They were kind of stuck together. I tried to grab one and they were about three or four there stuck together. So it looks like a kind of like a foil to it. So that was, he got, uh, I think when we first got in there to the Midway, we went to the Xfinity display. And they were, uh, you do this matching game up on the laptops there. And then uh, if you set the speed record, then you got a special prize. But if you didn't, you got to spin the wheel. And you got a prize. Now, what did I do with that? Which I landed on the, the uh, earbuds. So I won those at that display my girlfriend won this hat xfinity which came in handy because i didn't take a hat with me and it was pretty warm there you know get my face sunburnt she got sunburnt uh at that booth where i showed the decals and the koozie got this clip and i got for participating in a spelling bee there at the Xfinity display, and I lost in the finals because I couldn't spell Eric Al Almarola's last name right. I know how to spell it now. A L M I R O L A. Eric Almarola. Got these lanyards, so those will come in handy. Those were free. Uh, let's see here. My girlfriend, she got this shirt. She liked the color of this one. I'll go ahead and show it. Mr. Number four, Kevin Harvick. She got that one. At the Harvick Transporter. Let's see what else I got here. Just a couple earplugs from that one display there the Virginia State Police got a couple packs of those 
and a keychain. Let's see here. And then at the floor display, which is where we spent most of our time, we were waiting for the drivers that they were going to have there. She got she won this. They were throwing out t-shirts, this Ford Company, Detroit, Michigan shirt, so. It's a 2X. And, uh, let's see, the drivers that were there at the Ford display were on Saturday. It was Joey, Joey Logano, Eric Almarola, uh, Ricky Steinhouse and Clint Boyer. Now, uh, like a rookie, I mean, I got the uh, Richmond program, but like a rookie, I, I tried to get this sign. And these are really, really glossy. So, uh, I did get Eric Almarola's. I don't know if it's going to show up too good right there, which it didn't. Due to the gloss on the front, didn't hold the autograph very good. But I tried. I didn't even think to get Logano's, and I don't. I think the only reason he wouldn't sign it is because of Denny Hamlin on the cover. If I would have had something of him, he probably would have signed. We just stood there right in front of the stage, and they were after they got done with their interviews and stuff. They would they would sign autographs. Everybody except for Clint Boyer because he was on last, and they were. He, he, I guess he was afraid he was going to be late to the driver's meeting, so he, he didn't sign for anybody. And I got the uh, 164 scale Toyota Owners 400 car. It came along with the program. And then uh, a couple autographs that I got. My girlfriend won this. Well, they well no, I think I got this. Ended up getting, catching this hat when they were throwing them out. This Ford hat, and I did get... Eric Almarola's autograph right there. And Ricky Steinhouse there on that. And this this one really turned out nice because I used some powder on these cards before I before we left to go to Richmond. And I think that really did help. You just put some like talcum powder or baby powder on it, and wipe it off. And it does it does uh, help with the autograph. Let's see if I can. And that's a black sharpie. And if you know the press pass cards, they're real gloss, glossy. Maybe this will do a little bit better. I'll take it out of the sleeve. But the autograph turned out really, really well using that powder technique. I just put some on there and wiped it off. Wiped it off real, real good. But just the fine, fine amounts stuck to the gloss to where it would hold the autograph better there there we go that turned out really good and uh the race it race was good there were very few cautions there wasn't any cautions till about i want to say 30 to 40 laps to go not any scheduled cautions until about 30 to 40 laps to go in the race uh it was won by Kyle Busch. Ooh. Not a Kyle Busch fan. But uh, he did win, and that was his third third victory in a row. Which, he may have won three in a row, but Harvick did it first. Kevin Harvick done it first. And uh, that brings me to my last item. I didn't go to the uh, Legends Convention, which was that day. It's kind of down about that. So I did one of those, what do you call it? Spur of the moment buys, and I got an autographed Kevin Harvick car, and it's the elite version of his Bush beer car. Check this one out. This is a nice paint scheme with the mountains and everything there, and there is the autograph there on the windshield. I did splurge a little bit on that. I think that's pretty much everything. There's my uh, card for that. That's everything we got at Richmond, I believe. 
we are planning on going back for the uh, fall race, which will be in the chase. So hopefully it won't be Kyle Busch winning this time. But I think that will do it for this video. I don't have anything else to show. We, we did get there later than we did last year. We had to wait for a couple. We had to pick up a couple friends. And one didn't get off work until 6. So that gave us a late start. But all in all, it was a great experience. I recommend going to a race if you, if you guys haven't been there. And you have a truck nearby. It's like 200 miles from here. But we all pitched in and got motel rooms that night and stayed overnight. So came back Sunday. But it was a lot of fun. It wasn't too extremely hot like it was last year for the for spring race. And uh, once the sun went down, it did get cool. Pretty cool. So uh, that is my experience at the Toyota Owners 400 in Richmond, Virginia. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you in the next video.